Good afternoon, Arts Academy communities. Mr. Ryan, Principal of Arts Middle. Today, we will go into part three, the research, in our introductions to standard-based grading informational sessions. If you come over here, before I even get started, I'd like to go over the effect size of what that means. So John Hattie is one of the top educational researchers slash authors in the world. He uses effect sizes to show impact of a strategy or a factor. 0 0.40 equals average. So anything 0 0.4 above is pretty good in schools. So why are we doing standard-based grading? Number one, our teachers work in teams all the time. They plan out units like I discussed in the last video, then they come back after three weeks to meet in data teams to review how did kids achieve mastery of the targets. So collective teacher efficacy, the effect size is the largest ever at 1.57. That is significant growth by having our teachers meet in teams, look over student work, plan units, and discuss students. Teacher clarity, the way they describe it is mapping out units and discussing learning targets and standards with kids is 0.75. Feedback aligned to the standards is 0.73. Formative assessments, which are constant checks for understanding and seeing where kids are, has an effect size of 0.70. And because we post learning targets with the various levels of proficiency of approaching, mastering, and exceeding, kids are able to self-grade in the classroom and that effect size is 1.33. So you can see there's a significant amount of work that we put into moving to standard-based grading, aligning with our practices, and making sure we always do what's best for students based on the research that's available. Thank you so much. This is the end of session three.